After you brush people off once, twice, they're not going to come and talk to you again. Hello, my name is Augustus and welcome to my channel. I learn about social barriers and norms to help people become their true self in life. If you like my videos, please hit subscribe and we will talk more. So today I want to talk about what happens when you feel like others don't value you. Personally, I feel like this feeling is really easy to have, especially when you are going out and you're trying to talk with people, but people just don't seem to treat you the same. It's like maybe something you did, maybe you acted differently, maybe something you don't really know and you just feel like a misfit. And here I want to give you some of the potential things that you want to look at. If you want to manage and learn how to cope with people not valuing you. First one is learn to value yourself. If you don't value who you are, then others are not gonna value you. And right now you might be saying, of course I value myself. But the thing is, when you value yourself, you have to first like yourself and treasure yourself and to put safeguards into respecting who you are as a person. Are all those actions there? You need to make sure that you look into those things. If you are a diamond and you sell yourself for two cents, like people are gonna buy it for two cents. You have to learn to price and value yourself and not in the way where it's like, you know what, I am the, the most amazing thing in the world and you have to respect me, not like that. But to know that you are supposed to be treated as a human being and people are not supposed to do that to you. There are certain things that are okay, there are certain things that are not. But you deserve respect, to be treated nicely, you have to learn to treasure and value yourself. Second, are you miscommunicating to other people? When you are by yourself, do you see yourself brushing off other people when they're trying to approach you or talk to you? Because I can promise you, after you brush people off once, twice, they're not going to come and talk to you again. And when you go up and try to talk to them, they might feel a little bad because you just brush them off twice and now they don't really know how to act or they feel hurt. And then this creates that distance. What you feel in terms of you not valuing, having others not valuing who you for who you are, that may be a result of how you have interacted with people in the past and how you are actually trying to gain more friendships, but somehow in your past, you have just been automatically repelling other people because of how you feel about yourself. So this might be some miscommunication that you need to work with, work on, to make sure that you are not actively repelling people subconsciously. Third one, I see this from time to time, when people are like, you know, if someone cares enough, they'll get to me. They will, they're a real friend, then they will get, get to the inside, break down through the walls, and get to me. Like, if you are waiting for people that cares enough to get to you, that's either your family or no one else. Because you are taught to be someone that is uh, independent. And when you're trying to create friendship, it's a two-way street. You are made to be independent and you're supposed to mutually interact with another person to create a 50-50 give and take relationship with another person. People are not going to come to you and expect you to be dependent on them and to have a relationship where they're giving so much more to you out of the kindness of their hearts perpetually for the rest of their lives. Like, that might happen, but most people are looking for independent people that your parents are supposedly raised you to be and interact with them. And th if this is not you, that's okay. You can learn to be independent. But you need to understand that if you expect people 
to value you for who you are, first you have to take down your guards and you have to become someone that is investing just as much into that relationship as the other person. Someone that you, you're giving and that's willing to be open while the other person is doing the same. And this doesn't mean being nice. It means showing your personality. It means not just talking about shallow things all the time. And those are the three reasons I have for you in terms of why you feel like people don't value you. A lot of times I feel like this is the default answer that people have when they feel like they're not being treated correctly, that they're confused about what's going on. But a lot of this is just miscommunication and assumption. Because when I was in the dark, I can only guess what other people are thinking about me. I don't know what's going on. I can't read people's minds. So this is why we have to learn and decipher the little, little things, learn and polish our social skills, and communicate better with them so that you can learn to engage with the rest of the social world. Those are my tips. Hope you learned something. Stay strong, stay healthy, and I will talk with you soon. I feel like I'm always videos, please. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs>